Dr. Ronald, in my introduction, I briefly want to say that fourth generation warfare, what we call this media, is the strongest pillar of this warfare. So where do you see it? I mean, basically, it's nothing new. Uh, the media has always uh, played an important role. Uh, it's uh, becoming more and more important uh, as more uh, individuals, more people have access to media through technological development. But uh, coming from Europe, uh, many years ago, uh, when there was the confrontation between East and West, uh, between the capitalist part and the communist part of the world, this was also very much a media war. Uh, and uh, I personally uh, started my professional career working for a radio station, Radio Deutsche Welle, okay. which is similar maybe to Voice of America, maybe a little like the BBC, which was part uh, of a Western system to influence the people in Eastern Europe. Mm. Uh, so this was very much driven by governments, by states. Uh, nowadays we have a totally new component uh, because with the social media, with the internet-related media, Basically, everybody who wants is his or her own uh, journalist. So we have a totally new situation. But, and still, uh, they play an incredibly important role in, in, in forming uh, perceptions uh, and therefore indirectly also uh, influencing politics and also international politics. Okay. What do you think, Dr. Minard, this, who should hold this media? The government or the private sector or who should? That's a very theoretical question, what I think. It's mm. totally irrelevant mm. uh, because uh, we are in a situation today where whatever the government says, and even governments which are dictatorial, they cannot control the media because due to the, to the technological development, uh, more or less everybody mm. uh, has the chance to become his or her own uh, voice uh, and uh, be heard and be watched and be listened in different parts of the world. So therefore, uh, uh, it is an open system. Okay, and, and, and democratic government can control the media. They no, I mean that. Yeah. I don't know. Democratic, <laughs> democratic government uh, should not control. Yeah. I mean that's the yeah. essence of democracy that yeah. it's not controlling. But even undemocratic governments. Hmm. Uh, let's think now of uh, of, of, of China, uh, or let's think of other undemocratic governments. They are trying to control the media, but uh, they cannot because we have the social media. Uh, and the people will always fa find a way around this. Okay. Dr. Minardas, if I would ask about the Pakistan media. Pakistan media is actually playing their role where they are supposed to play? I'm not the right person to ask because... A as a layman, yes, as a third person, yes, what do you think? And, and as also a media person in the broadcast. And as a visitor yeah. who's coming here uh, uh, not very often, but who's coming here every now and then and staying for a week or so and, 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 and reading the newspaper, uh, if you read the Pakistan uh, newspapers, and I'm talking only of the English newspapers which I see, uh, you have the impression that uh, this is the media in a more or less established democracy. You see a lot of uh, competition of opinion. You see uh, the opposition reflected uh, in the reporting. You don't have the impression that there's censorship. Uh, I hope there is no censorship. Mm. You have conflicting commentary, so in this regard, uh, I would say uh, the media makes a good impression. However, mm -hmm. this is only part of the story. If you uh, if you listen to the reports and mm. watch the reports by international okay. media okay. watchdogs, and, and and media can pursue the national interest as well. If in generally we talk about, I mean, uh, no, I mean the media. Uh, it's not the role of the media in a free society uh, to pursue the national interest. Okay. The role of the media is to inform the public and to control the government and those in power. Hmm. Uh, and uh, uh, whether in the end of the day that will also be good for the national interest. But uh, the, the, the role of the media is certainly not uh, to be propaganda uh, for some national entity or so. No? Okay, okay.